Um, hi, my name is Esther and I am nine, seven, four, but more recently I'm one years old. I grew up in the church. I've always been a believer. I've always known about Christ. Um, used to go to every single service. Wednesday we were here, Friday we were here, Saturday evangelism, Sunday. Um, joined the choir when I was like eight years old. Shout out to RACC, we love you guys. Um, joined youth choir, everything. And yeah, all this time I knew about Christ. I knew the Bible. You know, they trained us really well. I was a Bible scholar, joy or sword champion, but I don't think I ever knew who Christ really was until I entered university. So even when we were doing altar call at church, after every single Winds of Change conference, I would come and give my life to Christ again because I didn't understand what I was doing. When I went to university now, it was very different. Um, you know, met different people, had different experiences. And I joined, again, I joined the church at university because it was the right thing to do. And I was serving, but I wasn't really serving out of a relationship with God, more out of religion and practice and what I was used to at home. In my second year summer, um, I came home and I started an internship and I was really struggling to balance my life, social life, work, everything, um, and my faith as well. I was feeling quite lonely and I just thought, oh, you know what, God, this life is so hard. I'm just tired. So I said, let me go and explore. Let me go and see what's out there. And the turning point for me was I went to a concert by a very popular Nigerian artist. <clears throat> and when I went there, I was so uncomfortable. I was so scared, in fact. And I was like, wow, so this is what it feels like to live life outside of Christ. If this is the life, I don't want it. So I came home that day and I said, you know what, God, I'm going to surrender my life to you um, and we're going to do this thing properly. I want to get to know you for who you are, but also I want you to change me and my life is going to be dedicated to you. Whatever you ask of me, I will, I will do it. So from then on, my life has been very interesting. Um, Ever since taking my relationship with Christ seriously, you know, I've had multiple encounters with him. You know, I sp speak to the Holy Spirit on a day-to-day basis. That's my best friend, my best of best of bestie. Um, and, <laughs> and life has just gotten a lot brighter. I'm not saying that it's been perfect. I'm not saying that I haven't had struggles, but making, having a relationship with God makes life worth living and it makes it a lot easier in the sense that you have someone that you can hold on to. If I was gonna to talk to Jesus and give him a message right now, I would say firstly, hey. <laughs> um, you know, we literally spoke like earlier, so I'm used to talking to you, I'm joking. Um, thank you for saving me. Thank you for loving me. Um, thank you for not leaving me. Thank you for being patient with me. I really appreciate you. Um, and I will always work hard. Well, I can't really work hard, but you know, you know, grace, there's grace. But I will always live life to glorify you. Love me, Jesus. <laughs> Would I recommend having faith in Jesus? Absolutely. Um, there's a song that says, Knowing you, <laughs> Jesus. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Literally, knowing Jesus is the greatest thing. Um, I think it gives your life purpose. It gives your life meaning. Um, it's a reason to wake up in the morning. It's a reason to um, meet and interact with people knowing Jesus. It, it gives me my personality. It, gi it gives me everything. I just, anything about Jesus, I will always recommend. Um, yeah. <laughs>